sister was supposed to be talking to somebody named Tony or something like that. So anyway, I don't know if it's my god brother. I don't know. I really don't give a fuck. So what I'm saying is it's like there's never been a case where I never wanted my son or anything like that. Like it was actually something from a show. And I can't even believe that I'm explaining it that way. So these people were actually stalking me and my son every day putting holes in our tires and going through our stuff and all this different stuff and somebody now thinks that this is a joke like they actually think that somebody is out here playing with them like they actually think that I'm playing like they actually fucking think that I'm not that I'm playing and so I give birth to my son and nobody comes you see what I'm saying they don't ever come to Texas nothing they never come to help me and my child at all. And now all of a sudden, they are experts. You see? And that's what I'm trying to tell you. All of a sudden, they know everything. And it's like, oh, she put on her, it's a sickness or something like that. That I don't want my child. My child has never done anything to me. And I hope my child knows that I still love him. Please don't listen to them, Blake. They are liars. Because Blake was there too. I was like, if you don't want... And this was in Texas, actually. I think it was like two or three years ago. I, I just snapped on the phone because every day they would still be like stalking us in Texas. Like they were actually stalking us. So much so, they would actually send me to go get the same people in my Lyft or Uber. They, my Uber account. Like they were actually in my Uber account sending me to go get the same fucked up ass people. You see? So they was taking the show and then trying to take... I guess excerpts from the show because if you're not getting the whole story from the show then there's something wrong so I'm doing the show and I just got pissed off one day like leave me the fuck alone because then they were still trying to listen in the apartment and all that different stuff and nothing was for them to listen to anything anywhere right just like this whole thing where they keep telling me you know certain shit to see what my emotions are and all that different shit so mm -hmm. She keeps trying to say that something's making me look bad. And it's like, no, you don't want to look bad. You see, because you haven't even checked anything. I mean, I was the only person to take care of your child. And that's been an instance with Faith, with Carla, and Ashley. You see what I'm saying? It's Brandon, too. It's always a situation where that has to happen. And, I, and it's like, y'all, I don't even think I should have to explain that. I just read that and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Y'all really playing like that? After y'all done had these people rape me and stalk me? Are you fucking kidding me? The whole time we've been being stalked. Are you fucking kidding me? Who really got the fucking sickness? You haven't checked not one fucking statistic or nothing. You haven't even checked on me in my fucking life. And you got the fucking nerve to write some shit like that. Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all, I promise you. Every day I try not to commit a fucking murder. It's not a joke. But keep playing. I say keep playing. Do it for the rest of your fucking life. Until you understand. Because, bitch, I'm not going to sit here in no fucking mystery for nobody. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. Y'all don't ever listen to shit. And your whole life, y'all will sit and be fucking ignorant, looking up under a nigga dick. That be y'all fucking problem. Look for something your fucking self. Stand up for women. Stand up for children. Actually do what the fuck you think you think you doing. You see what I'm saying? Instead, y'all actually have become robots for pieces of shit for pieces of shit you see you the one that keep thinking that anything I have is affecting you bitch we don't even want to be here with you my son hung up the fucking phone how did we get caught up in such fucking misery every fucking day I want to commit a fucking murder. All she had to do was send me my son's size and a picture. <sighs> Bitches don't know they, they. It's just like, learn your limits. Get some fucking standards.